For at TV, the world is thinking. And when you think in evolutionary terms, and you think about, for example, uh, a single cell uh, that would be, uh, you know, in a world uh, millions and millions of years ago, and you you think about what, if in fact the the the, the, the there is this totally non-conscious, non-minded, quote-unquote, desire of the genes to remain and be passed on, what would the genes, uh, this is a, sounds like an absurd question, but it's not, what would the genes do in order to create organisms that would be the most effective to pass on themselves? And the answer is, emotion is, comes very, very high with all of these things like reward and punishment mechanisms and drives and motivations because emotions are that sort of automatic intelligence that would guide an organism to do the most convenient thing for that organism to survive during the time that its genome would allow it to survive. So very early on, emotion must have been one of the very first things to develop. So we're really dealing with something that is now part and parcel of our lives, but has been here for a long, long time. And that, of course, is part of the problem, because we, we need to deal with this very old system that has all sorts of misleading cues, but also very useful ones. And then you have to layer on top of it this new thing that we have evolved with the cultures and civilizations that will allow us to be more pointed and create the best possible behavior. But I think that what evolution gave us very rapidly was different kinds of behaviors that were all of the emo processes, that were all of the emotion flavor. And they made life more possible for a longer period, first for single cells, then for multi small multicellular organisms, and eventually for complex creatures like we are.